Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. The journey starts here. The Champions League adventure is beginning. It is begun. It's Sunday morning now. Dropped off at Central Station from the missus. The train to London and the tube to another stop. And then the tube and the train from London, uh, Tottenham Hare or something like that. All the way to Stansted Airport. So three trains this morning. One car, three trains, one plane. Stansted Airport to Milan. And then we are there, so it's quarter past ten now in the morning. I don't actually get to Milan until about half nine at night there, ten minutes or an hour ahead. It's a long old day of travelling. I'm already knackered, I'm still knackered from a beat. I've had about six hours sleep, but I'm buzzing. I can't wait for this. So I just want to get there now, a bit of a trek. But I reflect from Newcastle, which is a shame. Flying solo like McCully Colgan, can't wait for that. But uh, at least I'm in a nice crusty first class for this one. These first class settings, trap yourself for this European adventure uh, before we get in the Ryanair. <laughs> Stan said to Milan, so let's get on board and get going. Four hours later, we've arrived at Stansted Airport. Four hours on trains. <laughs> I've got about three hours until we flight, get through security, and meet some of the lads who are already here in Weatherspoons. I think I fancy a nice little paint of Moretti. Thank you. You haven't got time for that, man. You're gonna miss your flight, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what a bella. Yeah, So I didn't realise just how far out this Bergamo airport was that we flew into. Um, it's 130 euro for a taxi from here to Milan Centre. Because we're on the outskirts, it takes about an hour. Although there is a bus behind us that goes to Milan Centre. So we're trying to get on that, but they're, they're saying they're not sure if there's enough seats available on the coach. So hopefully there is. And hopefully it's a lot cheaper than 130 euros. However, the flight from Ryanair was absolutely tremendous today, I must say. If you've seen the Ibiza vlog, you know it was a right nightmare for me. Horrible landing, auto land. No visibility, awful. Today, very smooth, very nice. I think the six pints helped beforehand, mate, to ease the air flight nerves. Let's see how we get on trying to get to Milan city centre. Right then, people, here we are. I have arrived at my Airbnb, my Italian home, for the next three nights. Before I get into my thoughts about the journey and being in Milan now after that taxi ride, my God, that was a mission. Let me just give you a quick tour around of the gaff. All right then. Well, it is actually a nice area, that meant to be fair. I'll show you the outside tomorrow or in another video, but yeah, there's the little living room slash kitchen -y area. Just a nice little apartment, you know, all one floor. And then you've got your bathroom. Be there, bum wash. Can't beat the old Italian bum wash. European bum wash. And then the shower and everything through there. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very good for me. And then got the old bedroom in here. Nice big 
well, at least double bed, that's it. It's huge. Nice big bed for me. There's no point in opening up that because it's pitch black outside. Now, the time is after 11 p.m. in Milan. I set off from Newcastle at 9 a.m. Wow, so 14 hours of traveling. Obviously, we're an hour ahead, so we're 12, 13 hours in total. But this is the humble abode for the next few nights. There we have it then. There's the room tour, the apartment tour. Sitting down now on the sofa, I feel like I'd fall asleep straight away. I am shattered. What a day that is. So like I said, I left the house at about half nine this morning, half ten train from London, which was actually delayed half an hour. We were stuck in York, was it? Or Peterborough or something like that for about half an hour, 40 minutes. Good job I gave it plenty of time to get to London Stansted Airport because of those delays. So I was meant to get into London King's Cross at 25 past one. I didn't get in until 2 p.m. Then had to jump on the tube, a few tube stops on the tube for about 15 minutes. And then, to be fair, very good transport is the uh, Stansted Express in London. So you get the tube from King's Cross to Tottenham Hill. You get off there. You get, it's next to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You get on the Stansted Express. It takes about 25, 30 minutes straight into the airport terminals. Very, very good, that, to be fair, for like 20 quid. So you can't complain of that. And then I had loads of time. I had three hours to kill in Stansted Airport. So I met up with Stevie and a couple of other lads. You've seen on the video their flags and stuff. Um, and weather spoons, which unfortunately, unlike other weather spoons, isn't cheap because it's the airport. Nothing's cheap in an airport. So normally what would be three pound for a pint of Guinness was about seven pound. But anyways, we had a good few Guinnesses. I had a nice kind of Moretti on the plane. Eased the fears of flying. Thankfully, no auto land. This time there was no auto land, there was no Ryanair nightmare flights like there was from Ibiza just a day ago. And it feels like I've been non-stop, I've literally been in Ibiza for a week nearly. Got back to Newcastle for about 18 hours and I was back on a plane again. When I sat down on that Ryanair flight, I was like, what's going on here? It feels like I haven't not been on a plane. It would have actually been much better and cheaper if I had a thought of this and planned it and just went from Ibiza to Milan. I should have just done that without flying back to England. I would have obviously missed the Brentford game and whatnot. But if I had have done that, it would have saved money and it would have been quicker. Anyways, the flight was spot on from uh, Stansted to Milan. It was like an hour and a half. We were actually delayed for about half an hour on the runway, but it didn't feel like it. I don't know if that was because I had six pints. And then I was getting uh, chatting. Uh, if he's watching, maybe watching, he subscribed. Enrique, the Italian that I was sitting next to on the plane. Um, he's an Inter Milan fan, so he was hoping that we were going to smash them 5 1. So, if you're watching Enrique, Bongiorno. And uh, he was uh, he was sound us out and out of a crap with him. And before he knew it, we was like, oh, we're, we're, we're descending, we're, we're landing. So, that, that flight really flew over, literally. Um, and then we, we landed, and the nightmare part began then, to be honest. As you've seen before, that Bergamo airport, it's essentially like landing at Teesside Airport and getting through to Newcastle. It's miles away. Bergamo is not the land. You are going to be fooled if you are flying at Bergamo. I've just been speaking to Keith there, Keith Downey from Sky. He's literally just landed not long after me, but he's landed in Malpanesa, which is a much better airport to get to. If you're traveling here, I hope for your sake, you're going to Malpanesa or Lenarte, which Lenarte is a lot closer as well. I'm flying out from there. On Wednesday, I'm flying from Milan, Lanarte to Paris and then Paris to London. Two connecting flights. Ah, I can't wait for that. But uh, yeah, those airports are a lot closer. They're even accessible by Metro. Bergamo Airport is an hour away. So we got a taxi there, split between four of us, 150 euro. And that's when I got out. The other lads are still getting dropped off 10 minutes away in their apartment. So it's probably going to be 160 euro at least, that, that taxi. And there's 10 euro tolls and stuff on the way. And it took... 55 minutes, just an hour, let's just say an hour. So it's an absolute mission, a mission away. Um, and then we got, yeah, I got shown around, lovely stuff, got told the crack. It's, it's it's a bit of a nightmare when you arrive somewhere at night though, isn't it? It's pitch black, I kind of, she's like, oh, there's a little around the corner, there's a kebab place, and I was like, I'm tempted to go out and have a walk and get a kebab and stuff, I'm hungry, but there's water in the fridge, I'm just gonna have that water and go to sleep, wake up in the morning, go out in the little, get amongst the bakery, and then I'll be bringing you a couple of videos tomorrow. We'll be doing a match preview outside the San Siro. And then I've also got a stadium tour booked of the San Siro. So there'll be at least two videos coming your way tomorrow. And obviously Tuesday, we've got the match day 
content. So we'll be doing the vlog, the reaction, some fan cams. Been meeting up with loads of people in and around the canal, seeing how the Georgies are feeling along the river with the flags out, the atmosphere is going to be bouncing. So it's going to be class, really looking forward to it. But just going back to that point of Bogomo Airport as well, if you are flying to Bogomo, there is a bus that you can get for about 15 euros and it drops you off in the centre, then you would have to get a taxi or a metro, but that's definitely a lot cheaper, especially if you're flying solo or just a couple of years. So that would be my recommendation. Overall, even though it has been a long day, it's been a sound day. It's went quick in a sense. Um, you know, what has it been? A car ride this morning, my bird dropping us off. A train from Newcastle to London. A tube from London to Stansted. A train from Stansted to the airport. And then a flight from Milan and then another car. So six modes of transport to get here in the end of Milan. I am very, very tired. So... That will do. Good night, people. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop your comments below if you're coming to Milan. Be sure to say hello if you bump into me. We'll be out and about over the next few days getting loads of content. I'm buzzing to be here. It's a pleasure to be here covering Newcastle United for you lot in the Champions League. It's a dream come true. You know, five years of doing this channel from the likes of Rochdale away to now the San Siro. It's a privilege and I'm, uh, I'm really excited for the next few days. So, big up everyone. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the morning.